you for this invitation. My topic today is coronary an uh, artery aneurysm and ecthesia, which is subject of uh, controversy. I will start uh, at the first with uh, two of our cases. Uh, then I will go through uh, surgical part. This first case, 60 years old male patient, smoker, hypertensive. Uh, he is post anterior MI, thrombolyzed, and uh, referred uh, to, our, uh, to our hospital for uh, angiography and intervention. ECO showed uh, anterior kinesia, ejection fraction 30 to 35 percent. This is angio of him. <coughs> it showed proximal ectatic vessel with significant stenosis. Now, second patient, 52 years old male, hypertensive smoker, obese. Uh, he has uh, attack of uh, anastomy before uh, five months. Uh, echo showed inferior akinesia with brazil wall thickness. No matter the gauge, ejection fraction was 35 to 40 percent. And, and this is the angio of him. Showed uh, ectatic RCA with uh, proximal significant stenosis. Now we will go through uh, definition of the coronary artery ectasia. Uh, it is aneurysmal dilatation of the coronary artery uh, and defined as a dilatation of the diameter of uh, 1.5 times the adjacent normal coronary artery. Uh, it's more prevalent uh, in male than female. The general prevalence of uh, ectasia is 1.2 to 4.9 percent. Postmortem incidence is 1.4. Non-invasive technologies uh, like uh, such, such as uh, CT and uh, MRI increase the prevalence up to 8 percent. This Marcus classification for the coronary artery ectasia. Uh, type 1 diffuse ectasia in two or more vessels, diffuse ectasia in one, uh, one and uh, localized in other vessel, type 3 diffuse ectasia in one vessel only, type 4 localized or segmental involvement. Uh, classification of ectasia according to diameter of the vessel, uh, small ectasia less than 5 millimeter, medium uh, from 5 to 8 millimeter, giant more than 8 millimeter. Uh, the most uh, common site for the ectasia is uh, proximal and uh, mid RCA in 68% of the patient, followed by uh, proximal LAD in 60% of the patient, then circumflex in 50%, and the uh, left main ectasia is very rare and occur only in 0.1%. Congenital uh, uh, etiology is very rare and uh, usually associated with other comorbidities like, ad, uh, like uh, uh, such as. Uh, Bicuspid aortic valve, aortic root dilatation, VSD, and pulmonary stenosis. There is some uh, genetic uh, association with uh, coronary ectasia. One of them is uh, angiotensin conver uh, converting enzyme genotype uh, polymorphism uh, and uh, familial hypercholesteremia. About uh, acquired causes, atherosclerosis is the main cause of the coronary ectasia in more than 50% of the cases. Then Kawasaki in 70%, mycotic and infectious septic emboli in 11%, connective tissue disease and Marfan syndrome in less, uh, less than 10%, arthritis less than 10%, heterogenic during BCI stenting, atherectomy and uh, laser angioplasty is rare cause, and primary cardiac lymphoma is also rare cause. Uh, pathogenesis of ectasia is dependent uh, on the hypothesis of remodeling. Uh, because uh, it represents exaggerated form of expansive vascular remodeling in response to atherosclerotic plaque growth. A variety of factors uh, affect enzymatic de uh, degradation of uh, extracellular matrix of the media, which appear to be fundamental pathologic process. Uh, these uh, factors uh, include elevated homocysteine, hyperinsulinemia, chlamydia pneumonia, radian angiotensin system activation, increased nitrous oxide levels, and inflammatory cells infiltration. Uh, this diagram can summarize the all pathogenesis. All the previous mentioned factors activate matrix degrading enzymes, uh, leads to regional disruption of underlying internal elastic lamina. This leads to extension of the inflammation into media and degradation of collagen and elastin fibers, uh, which lead to excessive expansion, remodeling, and coronary ectasia. Risk factors. Uh, male uh, is, a risk fac uh, is a risk factor for ectasia, followed by hypertension. But hypertension is controversy because uh, some uh, literatures consider hypertension is a low risk, uh, is a low risk factor for uh, ectasia. Smoking is a strong risk factor. Cocaine use also found to be an, an independent predictor of uh, ectasia irrespective of smoking. Interestingly, patients with diabetes have low incidence of ectasia, maybe due to downregulation of uh, matrix metalloproteinase with negative remodeling response. 
clinical features. There is no uh, typical symptoms for coronary ectasia, but stable chronic angina is the most common presentation in the patient with coronary artery ectasia. Patient even without severe stenosis in the coronary uh, arteries had positive results during myocardial perfusion evaluation and during treadmill exercise tests. The extent of ectasia and backflow milking phenomena in the uh, ectatic uh, LAD is the strongest uh, important predictor for ischemia during stress tests. Uh, patients can be presented also with uh, ST elevation myocardial infarction, non STEMI, due to either distal embolization or thrombus formation in the ectatic segment. Uh, Sometimes patients present with complications such as shunts, uh, which uh, f uh, formation and rupture can be occurred, but absolute risk is not known. Rupture can occur to uh, right atrium, right ventricular coronary sinus, and creating left or right shunts. Uh, diagnosis of coronary artery ectasia. Gold standard in diagnosis of coronary artery ectasia is uh, coronary angiogram and uh, IVAS. Uh, angiographic signs of ectasia include turbulent and stagnation flow, include delayed and degraded cont uh, cont contrast filling, segmental backflow, milking phenomena, and local deposition and stasis. Uh, IVAS is an excellent tool, tool to assessing luminal size uh, in the adjacent uh, normal segments uh, and can uh, correctly differentiate uh, true from false aneurysm caused by plaque rupture, which associated with acute coronary syndrome. Other modalities can be used, like as, uh, such as uh, magnetic resonance and current CT angio. Uh, sometimes transthoracic and transosophageal uh, echo can uh, be option for proximal located ectasia. About medical therapy. Medical therapy of coronary ectasia is controversial uh, because there is no evidence-based medicine till now. Uh, but administration of aspirin to all uh, coronary artery ectasia patients is logical due to high coincidence with coronary artery disease. Uh, statin may have rule by inhibiting matrix metaloprotonase. Uh, the rule of combined antiplatelet therapy with addition of adenosine diphosphate inhibitors uh, has, not, uh, has not yet been evaluated in prospective random randomized studies. Chronic anticoagulation with, or with warfarin as main therapy was suggested in presence of significant flow dis uh, disturbance. Uh, addition of anti-ischemic medications, such as calcium uh, channel blockers, beta blockers, and uh, trimetazidine may be required. But nitrate can dilate epicardial arteries and may cause steel phenomena and exaggerating anginal symptoms, so are not recommended. This review from 2014 uh, summarized uh, how to manage acute coronary syndrome in the patient with acute coronary syndrome. And uh, there is nothing new in this uh, review. This, they recommend antibiotic therapy to be initiated immediately upon the identification of acute core syndrome. Uh, in addition with anticoagulation in form of uh, unfractionated heparin or uh, low molecular weight heparin. Uh, if there is thrombus identified during angiogram, uh, consideration of glycoprotein 2B3A uh, should be started with, uh, for 24 to 48 hours with follow-up of uh, hemoglobin and platelets count. Now, uh, if the patient with uh, indication for intervention, shall we go conservative or invasive? Most patients present with acute coronary syndrome in the constant of Calvert uh, coronary ectasia identified at the coronary angiogram should be managed conservatively, unless patients have one of the following uh, da data. TME zero or one flow in the aneurysmal vessel, patient with recurrent angina or ischemia, sustained ventricular tachycardia, hemodynamic instability, including sustained hypotension, or heart failure. Uh, now, invasive strategy, if decided, we, uh, shall we go percutaneously or uh, surgically? Uh, if the patient have any one of the following, surgery is preferred. If there is coronary artery ectasia involved with lectumin disease or multivisal disease, the, if there is giant uh, coronary artery uh, aneurysm that exceeding the four times uh, reference diameter of the vessel or more than four, uh, eight millimeter, uh, if the ectasia involving bifurcation of significant side branch, and lastly, if there is separate indication for uh, thoracic surgery and related to ectasia. If this, uh, if this finding are not present or the patient is not a surgical candidate, uh, percutaneous intervention is a, a reasonable management strategy. Uh, interventional uh, therapy for the ectatic vessels. 
uh, has a lot of uh, technical challenges. The most important potential complications include distal embolization of the thrombus and stent malabsorption. Because abusation of stent uh, spread to the large uh, vessel with irregular valuable uh, caliber may be not visible. Uh, using a soft tip the guide wire should be uh, manipulated meticul uh, meticulously and carefully, taking care not to coil the wire tip in the body of the aneurysm. Distal embolic protection could be considered. Aspiration thrombectomy is often necessary to reduce thrombus burden. Uh, use of IVAS is important uh, to assess the uh, visual diameter and the uh, versus thrombus. Uh, floor ethylene stents can be used uh, in some cases with uh, isolated localized giant coronary aneurysm, but usage of this uh, type of stent has also some uh, challenges. De uh, deployment of covered stent might result in occlusion of significant side branches. Uh, Sometimes incomplete coverage of the aneurysm might result in persistent leak into the aneurysmal sac. Uh, these stents have high risk of thrombosis and stent thrombosis. And the most important uh, predictor for this is the length of the stent and diameter more than 10 millimeter. Uh, I will come, uh, go back to my cases. Uh, case one, uh, to remind you, just six years old male patient, hypertension. Uh, with anterior, anterior myocardial infarction. This is the diagnostic angiogram. Uh, we be, uh, I predate uh, the region with using Balton balloon, uh, which uh, this balloon have, uh, has uh, two uh, different diameters, proximally uh, 4.5 and distally 3.5, uh, up to 10 millimeter. And this is angio after dilatation. After dilatation, sorry. Uh, then uh, we deploy uh, self-opposing stent, uh, 3.5 to 4.5 uh, nitinol stent, uh, up to 12 uh, atm. We note that this uh, some area is, needs more uh, dilatation. We dilate uh, this segment using uh, non-compliant balloon, 5 millimeter up to 12 atmosphere, and this is the end result of the LED. And the uh, second case, 50 years old, uh, male, hypertensive smoker, obese, post uh, non and inferior akinesia. This is the RCA of him, ectatic with significant proximal stenosis. We put distally uh, drug eluting uh, stent, 4 by 23, up to 16 atmosphere. Then in proximal segment, we use self-opposing nitinol uh, drug eluting uh, stent uh, in the, uh, with overlap with the distal one, up to 12 atmosphere. Then we do post dilatation several times using 4.5 in balloon up to 16 atmosphere. And this is the last result after uh, PCI. And at the, at the end, thank you for your attention. If you have a...